Good evening, everyone. Today is Thursday, almost another week on September's almost gone. Thursday, September the 30th, 2021. And forgive me, guys, but I just got out of the shower. Anyway, um, I was going to read you guys my devotional. Uh, okay, it's the title of it's Iron Sharpening Friendship. And it's just so funny because my friend Michelle, uh, she um, texted me last night, and then this was my devotion today. It's funny how God works. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen. Maybe you're familiar with the biblical expression, iron sharpens iron, but what does it mean? In order to keep things like knives sharp, they have to be rubbed against something equally as hard, something that can shape them into effective tools. Godly friends will sharpen us. They won't let us grow dull in our relationship with God or with others. They will, they will keep us on our toes and will work with the Lord to shape us into the most effective people we can, we can be. Rubbing against them won't always be fun. In fact, we might feel the friction at times and wish we could run in the opposite direction. But don't run. Allow God to do the work he longs to do. Take a good look at the friends God has placed in your life. Are there some who don't sharpen you? Perhaps you've been there, been put in their lives to sharpen them. Are there a few who diligently participate in your life, growing you into a better, stronger person? Do they rub you the wrong way at times? Praise God, he's shaping and sharpening you into the person you are meant to be. And a little short prayer. Father, thank you for my friends, especially the ones who keep me on my toes. Thank you for the sharpening, sharpening work you are doing in my life, even when it hurts. So, um, all right, so <laughs> what I, I was thinking about this, um, uh, in fact, I was doing, when I, I'll talk about more of this. No, I won't. I've got to do my Bible reading. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's funny. My, um, there was a lot of, a uh, lot of things that, um, uh, pushed me in the direction of, uh, to where I was isolating myself from the world. And, um, I think it's just because that I'm not a conformist. I dance to the beat of my own drum. And, um, I don't like society, you know, forcing me to to live a way that's not that's not me you know I don't know maybe I have a, t a small tendency to be an introvert but um, I've always just kind of been that person that um, I don't know I just didn't fit in I was just I really didn't and um, I tried for a long time to try to fit in um, you know, I was of the world for a while, you know, dancing, drinking, partying. Oh, I did it. Uh, yeah, I cut a rut, that's for sure. Um, but uh, but I do not miss those days whatsoever. Um, I cherish uh, my relationship with the Lord. Um, and, and I hope that my actions... Um, show that I have a love for God but um guys it's just so important right now to you know to not go with the majority to not go with the end crowd um and I've always taught Madison you know look you just do you you be you and you know what and God will take care of the rest well you know, we all each grow up in different generations, um, and at that time, the culture is different. Um, there's, you know, things that my daughter, you know, might have been better for her, but, you know, in one aspect or the, the other, as far as, like, society as a whole. Um, you know, like, when I was a kid, um, when we had a paper to write or research, my grandmother had these old encyclopedias, and that's the, that. And I love looking through those encyclopedias. That's why I knew I would do well in science. And uh, but now, uh, you know, 
kids in school, they don't have to go anywhere. They don't have to go to a library. They just open their phone. Their phone is uh, connected to anything they want to figure out. And some of it is not for the good either. And so um, wherever there is good, evil will be there as well. Um, because uh, that's just the um, spiritual nature of human beings. Um, now, I'm not saying that, you know, evil conquers good. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying, you know, God, you know, God, God reigns. He, he will prevail. And um, what our country is going through right now, we will prevail. We just have to every day get up and, and sow positive, positive vibes, you know, just be positive. Um, and, you know, not get caught up in the, the name calling. Even I do sometimes, like, you know, on the YouTube, and then I'm thinking, you know, before something comes out of my mouth, I really should, I, 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 or I try to ask this question. Um, now, would I say this if God were standing right be beside me in, in the flesh? No. If I say no, then I probably should keep it to myself and not uh, speak it or write it. Um and th this is a thing that uh, I think a lot of people get hung up on. We are not, um, we're not accountable for the thoughts that come to our head. We're only accountable if those uh, thoughts manifest themselves. In other words, you know, the enemy is going to put thoughts in your head. But don't, you know, don't, he does it to everybody. <sighs> So don't get discouraged. You know, whenever he puts negative things in my head or tries to instill fear in me, um, I just plead the blood of Jesus and over the situation, and I ask God for strength. Um, and, and so that's why it's so important during these times that we pray, we spend time with the Lord, and... Um, there should be nothing more important than spending time with God. And hey, listen, I do it too. I get, I have days where I just, I, it's all, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm swimming upstream. But life goes so much better when we do it in the company of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And on that note, I'm going to end this one. I love y'all. Y'all, I hope y'all are having a blessed Thursday and I hope you have a blessed night. Bye-bye.